The, the last one. Woo. No pressure, no pressure. Well, first, I'd like to uh, thank Mr. Catania, who can't be here tonight, for nominating for this award. I'd also like to thank the uh, Alumni Achievement Award Selection Committee for honoring me with this award. Next thing to acknowledge my wife and Shira, our son, my family and friends here tonight. Also, need to honor those that trans transitioned on who are not here with us, but spiritually are. I stand here tonight because of tough love from my mother, Michelle Myers, a single parent at the time who worked days, nights, weekends to provide me an opportunity for success. My journey to Nutria started early after she realized that the Evanston School District was not able to provide me the services to remake my learning disability. The system wanted to place me in self-contained classes filled with all black males. This is how the school to prison pipeline begins. We moved to Wilmette, where I felt and looked like the other, not only because of the color of my skin, but for my ring disability. Throughout elementary school, middle school, I was constantly in trouble and irregular in the principal's office. The principal, the police already knew who I was and my behavior followed me all the way through Nutria and after. My journey to Nutria was similar. I was angry, felt like the other. I was still unable to read and screaming for help. The way I communicated my frustration was through immature behavior. My sophomore year, I was sent to the Learning Center. What future did I have? Before I continue, there are some of my former teachers here I'd like to acknowledge. When I say your name, will you please stand up? First, Coach Barfield, a man of extraordinary character who was and is considered a father figure to me. He always told me to believe in myself, follow my heart, and turn my dreams into reality. Second, Coach Carpenter. Before attending the Learning Center, <laughs> before I attended the Learning Center, he not only provided me opportunity that changed my life forever, but helped me find my voice and my life calling. I've been coaching with Nutria Special Olympics and now the graduate program with Mr. Goldstein. Since 1994, I can't express how much love I have for the program and the student athletes. I've learned a lot of va life, valuable life lessons from Mr. Goldstein and the community that he built. Finally, Coach Ottaviano. <clears throat> a man with a heart, heart of gold, always supporting and encouraging me to continue moving forward no matter what I faced in life. Now, a black male in special education who attends our alternative program and is unable to read does not have Vegas in his corner. In fact, my high school counselor told both my mother and I, Sean is not college material. The first time I found out I had dyslexia was going into my senior year after I was tested at the University of Wisconsin by Dr. Robert T. Nash. When I graduated in Nutria, my reading level mirrored that of an elementary student, but my determination was a reflection of the student athletes I, I coached. Once I learned to read at 18 as a freshman in college, I never looked back, always accepted challenges, and found my love for learning. After new cheer, I spent 18 years straight getting my education. About four years ago, I was writing my dissertation, and I interviewed Coach Carpenter and Coach Ottaviano. And as we were walking through the second floor of Winneka campus, we passed the Hall of Honor, and Mr. Carpenter said, you will be on there one day. And I, and I said to myself, and I, I gotta use my technology, not Facebook, but. <laughs> uh, just what I said to myself. Oh, hang on. Sorry. What you talking about? 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 I graduated in May of 2016 with my PhD, and my reading reflected that of a freshman in college. My journey from special education to PhD, having NBC News interview me, being a published author, and presenting my research at the White House is a testament of always believing in yourself and working hard. Always had a support system. I'm truly blessed to have been provided opportunities to be a messenger of hope for those that feel hopeless and voiceless. The professor who taught me how to read, Dr. Robert T. Nash, 
Sandover's curriculum to me and told me it's your turn to continue my scholarship. My experiences from New Trier to this moment have prepared me for what I love to do. I will continue fighting for academic equality and change lives, help people learn how to read. My professional goal is to open up a reading center in an underserved community. Is my life calling to leave the world better off than it was when I arrived? The greatest gift a person can get and receive is freedom, which is from learn, result from learning to read. This gives people hope and they chase the American dream. In closing, my challenge to educators in this room, next time there's a Sean in your special education class, please don't write them off or underestimate their abilities, but think of Dr. Sean Robinson. Thank you.